everyone, my name is Gitanjali Rao and I'm an ISAF qualifier from the Denver Metro Regional Science and Engineering Fair. So today I want to discuss my research project, which is early directional diagnosis of prescription opioid addiction. So let's start out with the problem. The opioid actually accounted for 70,000 deaths with an economic cost of over $500 billion. And this is just last year. And most people become addicts without even being aware of it. So I decided to move on and look at what current methods were out there today. And I realized that all the current methods were either based on psychological assessments or using really expensive equipment. So I immediately recognized that there was a need for a better solution. So to go about that, I actually took a two-part research approach. The first part looking at the of the behavior of OPRM1 and the second part of the engineering design and testing of building a prototype that can help to speed up the quality process and diagnose addiction at an early stage. So for my research approach, I developed a set of research questions and hypotheses and then moved on to background research. And for my background research, it was actually very interesting to learn about the mu opioid receptor, which is also called OPRM1. And um, it's a binding site for many uh, external opioids. Um, and these are commonly prescribed pain medications. And the specific protein itself is not found in many places in the body, including the brain and the thyroids. So after I had my background research done, I decided to move on to part one. And the first step of part one was to perform a yeast transformation. And the yeast transformation was to use a host that I can put the human gene OPRM1 in. So I replaced this D2 gene in a Saccharomyces yeast strain with the OPRM1 gene. And after that, I moved on to perform a variety of tests that's able to support my hypothesis that there's an increase in protein production when an agonist is introduced. So I still have uh, much more testing to do using membrane enrichment techniques to help uh, validate my hypothesis further and work on uh, getting rid of any false positives that might exist currently. So after I finished uh, test uh, part one, all of these tests were actually performed under the guidance of Dr. Michael McMurray at the University of Colorado, Denver. Um, I actually moved on to part two, which is um, the development of my device, which is to diagnose addiction at an early stage. So for my device, I used the protein detection methods like an ELISA test that I learned about in my first part in order to develop this device. So um, for this device, it's actually a cuvette that goes into it with an inserted protein sample, which and a bodily fluid sample. So the device is able to take a picture of it, cut it down to the region of interest and compare it to a set of pre-calibrated images in order to show you uh, on a rough scale, how addicted you are. So it can tell you if you're at a high addiction status or you're not addicted at all. And this way, physicians are able to give their patients a directional diagnosis of what they should do to take further steps of, in case they're addicted to prescription opioids. So in order to test this, I just compare the results from my device to a traditional spectrometry device to make sure that it was accurate. So moving on to my future plans, along with future testing, I also want to look at enzyme-free um, ELISA test methods using Gold's nanoparticles to further increase the accuracy and the speed of the test um, and the device. So that overall is my research project this year. So um, I'd be happy to answer any questions, so just leave them in the comments down below. And thank you, and looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye!